My name is Bruce Bittner and I take care of Dive Heart's Ear Locker. I got involved with Dive Heart in about 2001 and decided uh, I'd like to look into this. It'll make me a better diver. And it's a way for me to give back to my community and my, the sport that I really love. Every day is Christmas at Dive Heart. We get gear from all over the world. People may wonder what we do with it and we receive it here in Downers Grove and catalog it here in our gear locker. We store it, we will use it with our adaptive divers or our volunteers. I like organization, I like detail, and I'm fortunate Jim pretty much says, you got the locker, you do what you need to do, and I won't bother you. I do enjoy getting things organized where weight integrated BCs are one place, back inflated BCs are another place, uh, non-weight integrated BCs are another place. Regulators are now all organized where the first stage and the two second stages match. We don't work on regulators, but we can test them to make sure that they're within the intermediate pressure range that's required. We uh, pretty much try to use everything. We've got a little map upstairs. They can look at the map and they know, oh, this is here. And they go there and that's where it is. Everything we receive is donated. Anywhere from brand new, still got tags on it, to quite literally uh, junk. Wetsuits that are, that are starting to dry rot, we send them to an outfit in New Jersey where it gets repurposed as posters, yoga mats, floor mats, things like that. Regulators will take apart and scrap the, the metal if we can't find parts for it. We pretty much will use anything that is deemed safe. With all the gear we have, we don't sell anything. We're not a dive shop, we're a 501c charity. Our mission is to get adaptive divers into, into the water. We need gear to do that. And a lot of times the adaptive divers don't have gear, so we provide the gear to our adaptive divers as well as our volunteers. If a volunteer wants to buy something, it's strictly done on a donation basis. We get spear guns, we get gear from the 60s, 70s, we get gear from Jacques Rousseau's days to the current times. If it's involved with scuba gear, we pretty much have it. We'll take a donation, we'll send you a, a tax letter, it won't have a value on it, but you put the value on it, but we'll, we'll say we've received your gear and it's appreciated because it's put to use with our adaptive divers and it's helping them imagine the possibilities and actually live the possibilities that they can imagine.